Well, hello to all my wonderful YouTube fans. How are you today? Well, thank you so much for tuning in today's awesome vlog. Today, if you're curious on what I'm doing today, I would like to share with you guys and girls what is the difference of using Wi-Fi versus a solid Ethernet wire connection. But basically, that's what I'm going to show you today. We all have wireless devices, wireless printers, wireless desktop computers, and also small mobile wireless devices. The reason why we use Wi-Fi is we no longer have to be attached to a Ethernet solid cable like this. But to be able to upload videos, you're going to need this type of cable to upload a video. But basically, back here is the old Netgear Wireless G router. I am not going to worry too much about this one because we already have three different wireless routers in this house. The Comcast Modem Box Wireless uh, my dad's wireless box, and also the cell phone wireless box, down still. But it also is another thing you can connect all your devices together is with something like this. Is a Ethernet 5 port gigabyte switch. Okay? This you can connect up to five different devices. But let's go ahead and show you the difference of the speed of which one's better, wireless or salt connection. Let's go ahead and show you what I mean. It's going to be awesome. Let's have a little fun. Talking about network stuff. Woohoo! Having some fun. Alright, let's go. Basically, we all use different types of technology. Doesn't matter. It depends on what you use for internet. You have wireless and you also have hardwired ethernet. But basically we have computers, iPads, iPhones, iPod touches, printers and desktop computers all basically use the internet. But basically what I have set up on my desk uh, to share with you is I have my old wireless router, my computer, and my gigabyte switch to kind of show you how my setup is looking. But basically, when I upload videos, I don't use Wi-Fi. I just use the Ethernet jack and the Ethernet wire on my computer. I thought it was kind of cool to kind of show you what I mean. All right, if you kind of pay them over here, you see this old desktop computer right here. Okay, years and years ago, I didn't have an Ethernet jack up here. The only way to get internet on this old e-machine is by a wireless card. Now, of course, my printer is the same way. It has Wi-Fi as well, but it also has the hardwired as well, the Ethernet jack. Some things you can't plug Ethernet jacks into is your iPhone or your iPod Touch. Now, basically, what I got going on over here is a pretty cool freaking setup. There's the router, computer. And the gigabyte switch. Okay, this is the old Nokia. Okay, draw a new laptop, draw a new switch. What we're going to do is we're going to do a upload speed and a touch speed. It's clear you can kind of see. But you can kind of see what I mean. It does fluctuate a bit, but that's all good. You'll be amazed on why I don't like using Wi-Fi anymore. Alright, there's yours, there's download speed, the upload speed. Now guess what? Time to plug my Ethernet jack into my laptop. and see if it connects. Well, if not, we'll find out what's going on. 
Hmm. Sounds a little fiddly. So, uh, my camera is just being wacky today. I don't know why it stops recording. But let's go ahead and kind of show you what I was trying to show you originally. But I want to do somewhat a speed test of the hardwired as well. It also depends on the service you have, like we have Comcast, but it's all good. It depends on what you want to use for your internet provider, basically. But hey, it's all good. Let's go and find out what's the difference. Well, here's my awesome kind of setup. It's kind of cute. Alright. We did this test before. Okay. But I'm going to go ahead and redo it because the camera stopped recording. Okay, well, getting pretty good speed still for the download. But the interesting bit, what is about the upload speed? Hmm. That, I don't know yet. It all depends on how she all plays out. Nah, not too bad. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to take the blue wire, unplug it from the actual box itself, and we're going to plug this directly into the laptop. This jack over here, you going to see. Alright, and this is just basically just a oil center. But everything does work pretty nifty here. But once our thing is connected, let's go ahead and restart. You can kind of see the difference a bit. That's kind of pretty good. Yeah, it's all good. I ain't too worried. Depends on what you want to use. Depends on how long the cable is as well, too. Pretty freaking awesome. For upload or download speeds. Huh, I guess it's not really no difference. It only pretends. Pretty cute. To tell you the truth, guys and girls, it really does not matter what you use. Wi-Fi or the Ethernet wire, but I use the Ethernet wire for a couple of reasons. Because I think it's a good way to upload my videos. But what do you think about the setup I had on my desk? Was it kind of cool? I thought it was kind of interesting to kind of show you a little bit more tech kill. But you know what? It all depends on how you use your equipment. The vitals will be oh so different. But let's go ahead and show you what I kind of changed a bit on the uh, computer as well. Alright, you know, somewhat of a bit of a change here. Alright, we're no longer testing this anymore. We're no longer testing that anymore. We have the laptop connected directly to the Ethernet jack on my wall. Right over there. I just like doing this, it's fun. And see, it only depends on the type of wire you use too. Sometimes each wire could be different. And it depends on the length of your cable as well. But you know, that's not too bad. I think this test has proved its capability of what it can't and cannot do. But I'm not going to keep retesting it because I know the results are pretty dang good on this test too. But you can see, this here is the purple line. This is the blue line. There's the flat black one now. But I don't know. What do you think, guys and girls? You thought it was kind of interesting to kind of show you a little bit of a different speed test. Now, of course, if you're more far away from the actual box, but if you connect your laptop directly to the box, no problems. The speed is absolutely different with the box itself. But I think it's all good. I think I did pretty good. What do you think? Awesome? Awesome. Honestly, guys and girls, I don't think that I did too pretty bad for a couple of things. But you know what? The more things you split off, the slower your connection speed can be. Hey, 
what can you do? Like I said before, it depends on the provider you have. If you have Comcast, AT&T, Verizon, Fios, it all depends on the packages and package the internet provider gives you. But you know what? I say it did pretty good. Why do I use Ethernet versus Wi-Fi? Well, Wi-Fi is good for most things, but hardwiring your computer into a full Ethernet jack is a little bit better for basically trying to upload your videos to YouTube. But you know what? Wi-Fi is good as well because you don't always have to be planted at a desk and tied to a cord. That's the reason why they created Wi-Fi for a reason, for you can be as much mobile as possible. But when you download a lot of files from Wi-Fi, it's just not going to work. It only depends on how you want stuff to work for your needs and for you. But what do you think? You think Wi-Fi is okay or you think Ethernet's a little bit better than Wi-Fi? But you know what? I think it did pretty dang good actually. But alright, there you go. There's the end of my testing of the Wi-Fi and the Ethernet. <coughs> If you guys and girls are joining this channel, please hit that subscribe button, leave a comment down below. Please like, please share, peace out, bye guys and girls. We'll hopefully see you in the next vlog. Walk out and have fun.